Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you are all having a great day. Quick side note at the very beginning of this, uh, for those who don't know, uh, in the Ethereum space we have been waiting for quite some time for a lot of updates on the Ethereum network because the Ethereum network is, as we know it right now, uh, relatively laggy and slow and cannot handle an enormous amount of transactions, I want to say, or anything pretty much happening on the network. Uh, there's been something that we have, uh, maybe if you were here around two, two and a half years ago, uh, something called the Raiden Network uh, that was heralded as the scaling solution for the Ethereum space. Um, has kind of been overshadowed, if you kind of will. Um, and if you kind of want to compare them a little bit, the Ethereum Raiden network is kind of the same as the Bitcoin Lightning network. Uh, for those who don't get it, uh, uh, Lightning as in Thunder and Raiden as in like entity who controls Lightning and Thunder. So it's kind of the same similar thing. And yeah, let's start. It says Raiden, a protocol for scaling token transfers on Ethereum, announced that the Raiden network Red Eyes release is live on the Ethereum mainnet. The Red Eyes release is the first Raiden release on the Ethereum mainnet. Red Eyes is an alpha testing release, not production ready, and is intended only for testing the Raiden network or RDN on the mainnet. The Raiden team says it is crucial to read the security notes carefully before using the software. They also stressed to the community that everybody is welcome to test it on the mainnet by doing token transfers and taking part in the bug bounty. The main goal of this release is to have the smart contracts and the core protocol battle tested on the mainnet. This is simply because of what we've seen many other times and many other cases uh, when things have launched and not even just... It's not even like an Ethereum thing or maybe one other coin. Uh, it's typically that we've seen that when someone has released something and they say that it is available for public use, people start to use it. There are a lot of bugs inside of it, and then people start to lose their money. This happened with at least five other coins, major coins, and uh, we don't know if those tokens or coins are lost forever. But the fact is, is that if you have any um, hyper-negative publicity, people tend to kind of stay away from your network for at least a, a quite a bit of time. Uh, so they made sure to note beforehand that uh, understand that there are security issues or could be potential security issues when using this brand new software. Features included in the Red Eyes release include opening and toppening, toppening, topping up, closing and settling of payment channels, single and multi hop transfers, automatically joining a token network and opening channels with peers, REST API with endpoints of all functionalities, redesigned web UI, Raiden Explorer visualizing the live status of the network, rewritten and more gas efficient smart contracts or only one contract per token network, improved protocol for dealing with edge cases, recoverability in case of irregular shutdown of the Raiden node, um, integration of the matrix transport protocol for messaging. Also, once again, so one of the really interesting things about this is that um, while the Raiden network and the Lightning network are very different things in you know in themselves uh, they are incredibly similar in that on the bitcoin uh, lightning network you have to open up so you deposit your bitcoin into the lightning network you open up a payment channel and let's say you deposit 0 0.10 bitcoin into the channel and you separate that into 0 0.01 uh, you then have 10 payment channels that are 0 0.01 bitcoin each and that's how much money can flow through that payment channel and the idea is is that as time goes on as the price of Bitcoin could potentially then raise in value, uh, you will then, you know, value as in US dollar value, you will then be able to uh, transact more and more uh, things or they call them micro transactions or smaller transactions around the world. So the uh, Raiden network kind of follows the same principle, if you will. It says since the Red Eyes release is an alpha deployment of the Raiden network on the Ethereum mainnet, the team has put in place strong risk mitigation measures to limit the potential damage caused by bugs or misuse of the software and to ensure a responsible testing environment for this nascent technology. Also, as noted, the Raiden Red Eyes release is not security audited by an external party just yet. So they made sure once again to let everyone know that you're going to use it. There are risks involved. So please make sure that you understand the actual software before depositing your money into anything. So the same thing, like I said, for the Bitcoin Lightning Network, for the Raiden Network, deposits of Ethereum are going to be 0 0.15 ETH per channel or 250 ETH as a total maximum network value. Plus a depreciation switch has been put into place. 
Additionally, the Red Eyes version of the Raiden network is limited to one token network. Uh, w ETH or wrapped ether. I'm actually pretty excited uh, when this does get fully going to see exactly how quickly the Raiden network is actually going to expand because we saw for the Lightning network it took it took about eight months, nine months for the full expansion to kind of continue um, or rather to explode to kind of where it is right now. So as this is just an alpha release, I wonder when it finally is completely 100% launched on the Ethereum mainnet for everyday use exactly how much uh ethereum is then going to be stored inside of the network channels because the idea is once again uh for those who don't and not not that you wouldn't get it but it's kind of like uh if you're depositing your money into the uh network and to have like a payment channel you typically logically keep your money inside of it so the idea is is that this will also create like a uh like an artificial scarcity of the coin if you will because if you want to keep your payment channel open to be able to have payments going through it, uh, the same thing with the Lightning Network to be able to receive Satoshis uh, for your coins being on there and therefore letting the payments go through. Uh, should we have a situation where the, the Raiden Network becomes absolutely massive and we have maybe potentially over a million ETH inside of the network, uh, that then creates a huge scarcity because there's a lot less of Ether uh, floating around. Uh, they said, so there are some limitations of the Red Eyes release without going through all of them because uh, they may go over a lot of people's heads. Um, there's no support for third-party services to monitor channels. There's no support for third-party services which can offer pathfinding services. Uh, no support for atomic swap tokens. Uh, and it says no upgradability on the token network. They also have the security notes, which I'm not going to go through as well because they kind of just continue on. So unless you are actively or actually plan on using this, uh, you should probably be reading through the security notes yourself. Uh, but yeah, here's the actual release of it on GitHub. Uh, they say that it is version 0.100.1. Here's the actual like files and stuff for it. I'm actually very excited for this. Uh, for those who haven't noticed, uh, we had a time uh, the last year and a half where we were promised many other things on the actual uh, Ethereum network that were going to be launched and deployed. Uh, Raiden was definitely one of the golden childs, if you kind of want to say that, that a lot of people thought would be kind of the end-all solution for the Ethereum network. And out of nowhere in 2017, it kind of took a, a major backseat. Like it was just completely gone, kind of. You, no one really heard about it at all. Uh, and it was kind of just focusing on Plasma and Sharding and Constantinople and other upgrades that Vitalik Buterin was kind of more talking about, but Raiden kind of just wasn't there. This is the actual uh, Raiden network website. There actually is an, uh, an a, a Raiden token. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, as, as always, side note, please make sure to always do your own research. Just because there is a token does not mean that you uh, necessarily have to invest in it. It could be something interesting, though. As a quick side note as well, for those who are interested without having to search for it yourself... It says the Raiden network is the protocol change to the Ethereum network that is expected to speed up transacting speeds or processing on the Ethereum network, capable of handling over 1 million transfers per second. Raiden network will enable high speed asset transfers across the Ethereum network, which will make Ethereum free of any transfer delays and will support high scalability on the network. Uh, for those, there was a, a couple of months ago, there was a situation where Vitalik Buterin was talking about, like, he was kind of like teasing other updates on the network, but uh, no one knows exactly when we're actually going to get those things. The things that he was saying pretty much came down to is that he believes even with the other trans, the other updates that we are supposed to have on the Ethereum network, he believes that Ethereum will hit a very a, a, easily a seven digit uh, transaction number speed. So, what it comes down to is that if we do end up having uh, Raiden completely active and we end up having uh, Casper and we also have sharding, um, he said he expects the Ethereum network to be able to handle anywhere from 10 million to 100 million transactions per second, which is nothing to scoff at. That is, um, it, it, I think you need maybe over 100,000 transactions per second to be able to handle like um, the money from like Visa and MasterCard or something like that. And uh, that would go well above and beyond that. The reason why Raiden is very significant, at least right now, is because uh, from what we've heard or what we know, it appears that the other upgrades on the Ethereum network are expected, and there's no, there's nothing set in stone, uh, expected to arrive in 2019 and sharding in 2020. And for those who have been paying attention, at least at the time of me making this video, uh, 
the it seems like everyone is kind of gearing up. There are a lot of other uh, th- th- there's, a, there's other competition that Ethereum has at the moment, and I've been of the mindset for quite some time that they need to kind of get it together to be able to uh, compete with everyone else because at the moment Ethereum does 15 transactions per second, and many of the other cryptocurrency protocols and platforms that have been created or I- at least released in 2018 have announced that they are capable of doing anywhere from. 3,000 to some of them saying they can do around 10,000 transactions per second. Uh, So Ethereum kind of has to get it together. At least right now, Ethereum is up by 17%. If you look at the actual prices of the other coins, um, at least right now, uh, they're up maybe anywhere from 2 to 4%. This is definitely up 17% because of the news of the release of the rated network. Um... If we can get this, and I don't know the, the, the exact speed that this will be able to be implemented. I'm not sure of the exact time for the uh, testing of this on the actual mainnet. Uh, when this does de- does get deployed, and we have confirmation that we can at least do at least do over 100,000 transactions per second on the Raiden network, I personally expect the... Uh, hmm. I want to say the price of Ethereum to kind of go back up, but also like the joy that we had in the project to kind of return. Uh, you may, a lot of you have noticed that the uh, the clout, the energy that we had around Ethereum has kind of dis- dissipated. You kind of want to say that because a lot of other cryptocurrencies are now getting more attention simply because they are able to do quicker transactions. But I, I am certain that once Ethereum can match them or go a bit faster than them, especially when Ethereum is, is able to handle anything more than CryptoKitties, I think that'll be a good day for everybody. Anyway, this is uh, incredibly exciting. I'm very excited for this to finally completely come out. I hope that we actually do end up getting at least one or two other updates on the Ethereum network in 2019. I think that'll be a major boost for the entire cryptocurrency space because in the past, whenever Ethereum has uh, moved up in price heavily, other coins have tended to follow, at least sometimes. Anyway, I think that is definitely going to do it for this video. I uh, hope you're all having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you once again for watching and or listening. I do appreciate all of your support. Thank you all once again, and I will talk to you all soon. See you.